All right, Jason, this is the Telrad. This is the finder for the whole scope. This just clicks in here. There are two screws at the top. Just lightly tighten them down. This wheel dims or brightens what you see by looking this direction through the Telrad. These three knobs on the back can center it for you. This is the Feather Touch focuser. It's naturally two inches. You get this adapter with it. Note that this little stainless steel screw head fits this depression right here. So what that allows you to do is this knob will tighten this adapter. If you look carefully, the screw goes right between this brass adapter piece. That just snaps in like that. Tighten this one to hold the adapter. Tighten this one to actually tighten the eyepiece itself inside. This right here is the secondary dew wire. If you were uh, on a night you were going to experience dew, you could plug that in to run the secondary. Obviously the secondary works better without any dew heater on it, but if it's between having no working telescope because it's dewed up and using a dew heater, you want the dew heater. Uh, this cord right here is the Argo power cord. It plugs into the Argo right there on top. Normally these wires would run up this truss pole with that monofilament wire I included in your kit. Uh, there's no way it's going to fit up without tearing off all these labels that I put on. Once you're familiar with this, you're going to tear all these labels off because it really only fits one way, but it sure is going to save you a lot of time just looking at it and say, oh, this is this. This big double largest looks like a network cable. That goes into the encoder. It's the only hole it can fit in up there. That goes on the Argo. This 12 volt one that just says power, this plugs into any of these RCA power. That supplies 12 volts to this whole upper UTA. The one that looks like a stereo plug like the jack on your iPod, that goes into the bottom of the keypad. And the final connection up top is the Argo Serial 1. This is the only one that could actually go into two different positions, but since it's the only one, it goes into number one. And that is it. Like I said, normally it would come right out of here, but I put all these tags on it just to make that first setup very easy for you. So keep that in mind, and we're all set there.